Welcome to the Applied Aikido channel. I'm Elliot Paulson, and today we're going to be looking at the question of can you actually apply Aikido, like in a live rolling, uh, self defense, or sparring scenario? Can you actually get Aikido techniques and concepts to work in this kind of scenario? Well, to start off with, I should introduce myself a bit more, seeing as this is kind of the first vlog on this channel. Uh, I'm Elliot Paulson. I've been training jujitsu for the most part for the last 10 years, and that's been my primary martial art. I've also had done some cross training in Muay Thai, kickboxing, and Aikido. I really love Aikido. I think it's a great martial art. It has a lot of fun, very satisfying movement to it. A lot of the training is very you know, flowy. It just it feels good to do Aikido. It's very relaxed. It's very you know, just just fluid, very hippy dippy kind of fun training. But is it actually application based? Can you get the concepts to work from Aikido? Well, about starting around about two years ago, I really started trying to use concepts and techniques from Aikido more and more in my live rolling and my sparring and seeing if I could actually get some of these concepts and techniques to work. Now, I'd been doing this for longer than that, but honestly, two years ago is where I really started trying to apply it when I would box with people or when I would do live rolling. I'd try and see if I could get concepts to work. And the answer, in short, is yes. And that's because, in reality, you can get almost any martial art to work in an application setting. The reason being is, in a lot of cases, it's more about how you train than what you train. The key components, at least in my opinion, to a martial art really working in application is twofold. One, you have to cross train. You cannot just train your one martial art and expect to be able to apply it in any sense because so many martial arts are different. So many, so many have different concepts. And a lot of times when you see people who train just their one martial art, and they have these struggles with application, it's because all they've ever done is train that one martial art. So, you know, Taekwondo is a great example of this. Taekwondo guys train really well to throw really awesome, powerful kicks, and, you know, they train to defend really awesome, powerful kicks, but then they don't really have much else than that. Or an even better example would be Kyokushin Kai, right? Kyokushin Karate those guys are beasts when it comes to taking body shots, but because they don't train getting punched in the face, the first time a Kyokushin guy gets punched in the face, all of a sudden it's like, oh crap, I got punched in the face. Well, what's this? I don't, I don't understand. This is a new concept to me. So that's kind of reason one. You really have to cross train. You have to experience other martial arts, experience other strategies, and you know, even incorporate some of that stuff into your own art. Part two is you really have to do application training. If you want to be able to apply your martial art, you have to spar, you have to you live roll, you have to train these techniques under stress and in you know, live situations where your opponent's not doing what you want them to. So the main issue Aikido faces is that a lot of Aikido practitioners don't cross train and they don't do live application where their opponent is really not you know, letting them get what they want to get. They're not letting them get their little wrist locks. They're not letting them, you know, continue their momentum. And these are concepts that I'll explore in future videos, and there's more to this discussion. But right now we're just looking at, well, can you actually apply these techniques? So again, the answer is yes, because any art, if you practice it by cross-training and doing live application and live rolling and sparring, you can get that art to work. Uh, you know, so outside of jujitsu and, and Muay Thai and some of the arts that I've spent more time devoted to practicing, I've also just kind of cross-trained and traveled around, visited other people's gyms, gone to seminars, just kind of trained any opportunity I can because it's really, it's really just fun. And I, again, I'm a strong believer in cross-training and I think that's, you know, if you're really into martial arts, you're going to be a martial arts nerd. Uh, I, I believe Ramsey Dewey said it on one of his videos that, you know, really, everyone who does martial arts, even even competitive fighters, they're all we're all just martial arts nerds. You know, we we love this stuff. So almost everyone's probably dabbled in some weird kung fu, aikido, whatever. And it's important to note that 
you know, I've gone to a, a fair number of karate seminars, trained with a fair number of, you know, Shotokan karate guys, which generally people don't think of Shotokan as being a, a very viable martial art. And I would say in about 80% of cases, they, they'd be correct. A lot of Shotokan guys that I've met and trained with, you know, they just spend all their time punching air, they're, they do kata, and they don't spend much time actually hitting, you know, they don't hit heavy bags, they don't, they don't do application training, you know, they don't spar as much as they really could, and a lot of them will even admit this too, um, but there are like 20% of these guys, they're just, they're just beasts, because that's all they do is they just do application training, you know, I've met a couple of them that I'm like, I, I really wouldn't want to fight this person for real, because they train all the time and they're, they're tough. On the flip side, Muay Thai guys, I've, I've met a ton of Muay Thai guys that could kick my butt, but there's like 10, maybe 20% of Muay Thai, Muay Thai people that run Muay Thai classes that are just cardio kickboxing, and, and those guys, it's like, well, you know, I, I'd fight you with like one hand tied behind my back, you know, and it's not being cocky on my part, um, it's more just a matter of these people don't don't actually train they don't cross train they don't do application training so this like 10 20 percent margin of muay thai guys really aren't aren't that tough and again it comes down to how you train not what you train so on a grand scheme the vast majority of muay thai guys are going to be able to beat me in a fight and on the grand scheme the vast majority of shotokan guys probably aren't going to do too well but the bottom line is that 20% of Shotokan guys that train like Muay Thai guys train are going to be able to beat me up. And that 20% of Muay Thai guys that train more like cardio kickboxers or Shotokan guys train aren't going to be able to do very well. This translates to Aikido in that if you were to take Aikido in the same way that these you know Shotokan guys take their Shotokan training, if you were to take Aikido and train it in an application sense, then yes you would be able to get your Aikido to work in an application scenario because you've been cross-training, you've been training it in a sparring scenario. What I have found while doing this is that it starts to look a lot less Aikido and look a lot more like Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu. So is it still, you know, could you still consider this applying Aikido if it starts to look like other martial arts? And that that's another you know question that would take a really long time to answer and you know i don't think people really have the attention span to watch longer than what this video is getting to but you know it, it is uh it's a, a a concept that i plan on exploring on this channel a little bit further of you know if you apply aikido if we actually take these techniques we pressure test them we take these concepts we pressure test them and get them to be you know something that actually works or can work in an applied scenario you know is it still aikido and that's that'll be another question to explore uh at that you know we're kind of at the end of this video so uh i'll just kind of sign off now uh, and, you know, please look forward to future videos and let's try and explore these questions of can Aikido be applied?